makes your favorite restaurant a health hazard. Find out Thursday at 10 on CBS 2 News. This is going to end right now. Without a trace, the new season begins Thursday after CSI. Exercise shows have been done from beaches, from gyms, even from the tops of mountains. But my new partner wants to do something different for your show, Katie. Right. Something homier that our audience can relate to. Can you come up with a few set ideas? Whatever you need. I still can't believe you're willing to invest so much money on the basis of one little video. Ah, oh, listen. The business trades don't call himself here the marketing maestro for nothing. And we've already discussed what we're prepared to spend for the promotion. Glad I hope. <laughs> Absolutely. Advertising is everything. And Mike, when we come to making a final decision about the set, I'm not worried about cost, OK? Katie didn't fail that video. That video failed Katie. So this time, we spend money, we do it right, we make her shine. This time, she's part of a winning team. It's too much, Pucker. Your ratio, I mean, if, if you go heavy on the vodka, you need a, uh, a wedge of Granny Smith just to kind of soak it up. How old are you? Old enough to shake a dozen different martinis. Your ad says that you uh, wanted experience. I studied with the master. Let's see some ID. I look really young for my age. Seriously, seriously, the, the Coleman's are known for the baby faces. My grandma, honest to God, till this day, gets carded. Sorry, kid. No ID, no drink. Oh, no, I don't want a drink. I want a job. What's going on? If I wanted a bad reference, I would have called my old geometry teacher. And telling somebody how to do their job, that's, that's the way to go, huh? Well, he had it all wrong. And you were listening? Just chill. I, I could probably talk to my grandmother about getting that bartending job. Your grandmother? Lisa Grimaldi. Um, she owns a piece of the lake, do you? What doesn't your family own? Very funny. Well, I don't want to work here anyway. You never know who you'll run into. TV, that's more like it. W-O-A-K is hiring an intern. Who needs your family's crummy hotel anyway? When you're working for their crummy TV station, when you get to W-O-A-K, make sure you say hi to my other grandma, Kim Hughes. Yeah, she runs the place. <laughs> Quinn, what are you doing here? I told you I would handle it. Where's that guy Carly got the water from? Yeah, I got the vendor here, all right. But you need to make yourself scarce and let me handle the rest of it. Did he say how Carly got him to take the baby after I passed out? Gwen, drop it, OK? You want people to stand here together? Look, I don't care. All I want to know is if he proved I was telling the truth. All right, listen, I don't know anything yet, but when I do, I'll let you know, OK? We've got the transfer set up for tomorrow. Get Sykes and Martino to escort the van. And get the paperwork over to the DA right now. I don't want any delay. You got it. You're Will's friend. My son, Will Munson. Hi. It's, uh, Gwen, right? Yeah, Gwen Norbeck. Well, I've got a hunch I know what you're doing here. I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be in the way. No, no. You're not in the way. Why don't you come in here where we can talk about it? Oh, come on, don't give me that. Your English is better than mine. Well, then I will keep calling until I find my son. You tell El Jefe he's got one hour. If he doesn't call me back, then I kick this up to the governor. You know what? Your little tip didn't pay off, so I've... Lily. Hi. Come on in. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm just frustrated. How's your mother? She's the same. Sierra's covering. Tell me what's going on with Luke. There's not much to tell. I covered every inch of this town. I talked to dozens of people. Either they don't know anything or they're too scared to talk. What about my mother's connections? I'm still waiting to hear. I'm sorry. I really thought that I would have found Luke by now. You have to talk to me. I want you to tell me everything so we can find Luke together.
New Mega M&Ms. You wouldn't want them any bigger. Wilcox! I found love at a Kmart store. Martha Stewart's got your bed to cool. I found love at a Kmart store. Sleep tight, Joe. My signature... That would be my hair. And Vive by L'Oreal. That would be my shampoo. Each Vive is designed to target any specific hair type. Mine's highlight boosting. Vive by L'Oreal Paris. For signature hair that's simply brilliant. Because you're worth it. What's great about Ziploc containers? The twist and lock seal. Hon, no, of course I'm not eating salsa on our new white living room set. You know me, Mr. Responsibility. No mess on my watch, honey. Ziploc twist and lock. The disposable twist stop with a leak-resistant seal for soups, sauces, and salsa. Ooh, gotta go. Oh, be careful, Daddy Salsa. Ziploc Twist and Lock, designed with you in mind. SC Johnson, a family company. I get so congested from my allergies that I feel like I'm not all there. So I got clear with Claritin D. Come on, you're on. For long-lasting non-drowsy relief of your worst congestion and sinus pressure, nothing is stronger or faster. Non-drowsy Claritin D. With Claritin Clear. Bob the Builder is taking on his biggest project ever, building a whole new town. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Find out how it all began in the all-new special Bob's Big Plan, now on DVD and VHS. Introducing a remarkable new soft and smooth white bread from Sara Lee. I don't see them. Do you? Nope. A white bread actually made with whole grains. Can you feel them? Nope. Can you taste them? Nope. The whole grains are there. Neither can I. <laughs> you just have to take our word for it. Try amazing new soft and smooth whole grain white. Only from Sara Lee. A brand new season of CSI New York premieres CBS Tonight. Thursday, the scorching heat will force the survivors into croc-infested waters. Live on the edge a little bit. Dive into a new survivor. CBS Thursday. I drew this. It's a map of all the areas I covered. Yeah, starting with La Clinica. Really, this place is worse than we thought. Your mother, she didn't know the half of it. What do you mean, worse than we thought? I mean, what's worse than selling human organs? Using live donors. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You don't think... No, that come Luke on. Don't even go there. Whoever has Luke knows that he's worth too much. So you're expecting a call for ransom? Maybe. Well, what are the police? What do they say? They have not been very much help. The locals, they've all either been paid off. Maybe the clinic has hired people to keep them in check. I don't know. What do we do? There's a guy in the mayor's office. Your mother's people at the Justice Department have been leaning. Okay, on. what about him? Uh, can he help us? I think so. Your mother said that Keith talked to a woman named Blanca. We're trying to see if we can get in touch with her. Hold on a second. Hola. See. Gracias. They found her. What? She's running a cantina outside of town. Are you, are you sure it's the same woman that was working at the clinic? He said she is. Well, then why don't they arrest her? I don't know. Maybe there wasn't enough evidence. It doesn't matter as long as she leads us to Luke. Okay, fine. Let's go. No, no, wait a minute. You're not going anywhere. I did not come all Lily, the way down here to sit in a hotel room. In I don't care. If that woman has my son, then she's mine. WAK is the one that I want, so I guess I'm just gonna have to take my chances. Fine, just get another last name. What is wrong with my name? Like Smith or Jones? Why not Coleman? As in Henry? Yeah, uh, he used to work there, didn't he tell you? He got canned. Why? Uh, long story, bad ending. Fine, I won't go to the station, I won't get a job. I'll just go back to your place after school and, I don't know, maybe clean your room. It's pigsty. Maybe have your mom toss me a few bucks to clean out your drawers. Who knows what I'll find in there. You're not going to get within 100 yards of my room? Ever. What, are you afraid I'm going to, like, find your diary or something? Okay, you've obviously got way too much time on your hands, so... Come on, I'll go to the station with you. No, thanks. Do you want the job or not? I've had enough of your help for one day. All right, fine, but when it comes to getting jobs, it really is who you know, so... Make sure you tell Grandma Kim I said hi. I've always been her favorite. Oh. Oh. That 
about covers everything, don't you think? All right. So why don't we head out to Lakeview for a few drinks to celebrate? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Uh, let me make a few calls, and I tell you what, I'll join you all there. Okay. 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 You'll excuse me for a minute. Sure. Yeah. Kim, Kim, you got a minute? Oh, yeah, well, you know what? If it's about the set, we can probably talk about that over drinks. No, it, it's not about work. Um, it's about Jen. Oh, I see. Um, I, I know offense intended, but, you know, I'm not sure that I feel comfortable discussing Jennifer with you. I get that. I, I know that she's family, and, and I'm sure you're very protective of her. Yeah, you're right, I am. But don't misunderstand. I, in no way do I blame you for the fact that that marriage didn't last. Look, I, I just want to know how she is, Kim. All right, I, um, when we split up, I got in the habit of calling the Lakeview every few days or so, you know, just to make sure she was okay, see if they had seen her. And uh, the last few days, they haven't. So I was just, I don't know, I was getting a little worried. Well, you're right to be worried if you want to know the truth. I, yeah, Jennifer's just having a, a difficult time dealing with the fact that she's lost her baby. But she is in treatment now, and, and Barbara tells me that she's starting to respond. I care about her, Kim, you know? I always will. I understand. Mike and Kim look like they're getting pretty serious. Is he always on business? Not always, no. Because, you know, I think that all work, no play, it's a bad thing. So, what do you say we go pop some champagne, okay? Yes. I, I think you'll find it working for me that I'll, I always find time for a little fun. You don't have any objections to fun, do you? No, no, not at all. Let's do it. Sure I can't get you anything? No, oh, thanks, I'm, I'm fine. You know something about the case? More than I'd like. Maybe I should uh, call Mr. Winthrop? No, no, don't bother. It's all resolved. Uh, no, it's not. Gwen, I'm very sorry that Jen took your baby from Carly's place. She's had some problems. It was a huge cry for help. Wait, your, your daughter... Tried to steal my baby. I mean, where is he? Is he okay? Oh, he, he's fine. He's he's back at the Snyders now. He's safe and sound. I thought, um... I thought you were going to talk to me about something else. I had no idea about any of this. Sorry. I just want you to know that Jen would never do anything to hurt that boy. She's just very troubled right now, and I really hope that you can forgive her. Why do you care what I think? Because I know you love that baby, just like Jen loved hers. She never really recovered from losing it. Yeah, um, I was at the funeral. Well, then maybe you understand. Why'd you want my baby? She's confused. Thought somehow it was hers. Both boys were born premature on the same night. So, um... She might try to do it again, though. She won't. Is she in jail? No, Jack and Carly decided not to press charges. Well, I mean, if she thinks he still might be hers, then maybe she'll go Gwen, after him. she's in a psychiatric hospital. I'm sorry. How's Will? Pretty upset. I'm sure he wanted to tell you himself. He just didn't know how, but I thought that you should know. Yeah, okay. Is that it? Yeah. You tell Will, um... Yeah, never mind. Um, thank you very much, Lieutenant Munson. Thank you. Hey, did they arrest Carly? No. No? Fender should have talked by now. It had nothing to do with Carly. Well, what did he want? Like, it doesn't matter, all right? But all your promises about helping me get my baby back, you blew it again. So I guess we can forget all those plans about us being one big, happy family. Can't we, Mom? Hey, what 
What is going on here? I hand you a hot lead and you do nothing? What kind of a cop are you? I've got the power! You're learning what's up, figuring things out for yourself. And with your Pampers Feel and Learn, you're getting this potty training thing down. It's the only training pan with a suspended wet sensation liner to give you a better signal of wetness than the other leading brand. Feel and Learn lets you feel when you're wet to help you learn to stay dry. You go, girl. You got it. Feel and Learn, a fast track to underwear. Uh-oh, little one. What you got there? You don't need all that, little bear. Now that's enough, yeah. me when my sinuses act up. Pain. Prayer. Meat. Sinus boy. I need Dayquil Sinus. The daytime non-drowsy sinus relief. Ah, that's better. Dayquil Sinus. My hero. And now I am honored to present our next speaker. She is a real class act. It is my privilege to introduce this special lady, Catherine Knowles. No time to go. It's time to the rescue. Scented candles make your home inviting, but they don't disperse scent quickly through the entire room. New scented oil candles from Glade quickly fill the whole room with fragrance. Just light it and the unique warming plate melts the candle into a pool of scented oil that quickly releases fragrance into the air, creating a warm, relaxing atmosphere. And when the oil is gone, the candle goes out. New scented oil candles from Glade quickly fill the whole room with fragrance. S.C. Johnson, a family company. For dairy and reach your goal of a trimmer waist. Clinical studies indicate three servings of cheese, milk, or yogurt each day can give better results in trimming waistlines than cutting calories alone. Because dairy's natural mix of nutrients helps the body lose more inches around the waist. One, two, three. It's in your reach. See other women's success and learn more at threeaday.org. I thought you liked vegetables. Oh, I love vegetables. But see that? That's all it takes for me to get gas. You see that? That's all it takes for me not to get gas. Mm -hmm. Broccoli, you've met your match. <laughs> Take Bino before, there'll be no gas. A guide to proper manwich etiquette. Always use the correct utensils. Sit up straight and don't fidget. And be sure to use a napkin. Eventually. When it comes to dinner, it's manwich rules. That vendor was in cahoots with Carly Snyder. And I handed him to you on a silver platter. And we investigated him. Yeah, and? And nothing. Detective Snyder took his statement and we released him, that's all. Snyder handled it personally? Is that a problem? Well, he's just too close to it. Are you accusing Jack of something, Miss Dombrowski? Ooh, oh, you cops just look after each other. You just stick together. If you've got a problem with the way Jack or anybody else around here is doing their job, you better have something more than your mouth to back it up. Hey, excuse me, um, I'd like to leave these for Jennifer Munson. Sure, she's in there, I think. Um, could you give them to her? Sorry, I gotta get these meds delivered. What are you doing here? Leave my sister alone. Hey, Helen, what's up? How are you doing? Is my grandma around? She just stepped out, but she should be back soon. All right, well, uh, maybe you can help me. My friend, my, uh, she's here about the internship. Um, has it been filled yet? Nope, not yet, and I have an application right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I have to run these tapes down to production. No problem, I know my way around. Uh, I hope you're still here when I get back. Yeah, me too, yeah. All right, catch you later, Helen. 
What? Oh. She's got great taste. You can't blame her for one of these. Oh, you're so vain. Do you want the VIP tour or not? Wow, you really want me out of your house. Try my life. Can't happen soon enough for no, me. No, give me that newspaper. Hi! Maybe you can get a job before school or pick up a night shift somewhere. Uh, I have to sleep sometime. Yeah, well, you know what? You can sleep when you get a place of your own. You know, right here. How about this? Mall security guard. Nasty attitude required. No references needed. Are you going to show me around this place or not? So, tell us about this tight timetable of yours. When can we get into production? Well, as fast as we can without sacrificing any quality for speed. Oh, we can put in more than one crew if you need. That's great. That's great. And Kim, I want to hire an outside ad agency for this. You know, from New York. Top shelf. Concept execution. Wonderful. Good. Have you thought of a name? I don't know. Have you? Anything but butt busting. Oh, amen to that. <laughs> agreed, 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 agreed. Agreed. We're gonna use Katie heavily on promotion. We'll put some of that old cheerleading to work. How did you know I was a cheerleader? Um, uh, weren't you? Yeah, but. You forget I've seen the video. Some of those moves had cheerleader written all over them. Your chocolate milk, Mr. Green. Thank you, and you can keep them coming. Thank you. I would like to propose a toast to the future. May this be the beginning of a long and successful relationship. <laughs> Blanca, está aquí? Who wants to know? Are you Blanca Martinez? How can I help you? Um, we're looking for our son. Have you seen him? No, I'm sorry. I haven't seen the boy. Are you sure? He would certainly stand out. <laughs> but you worked at the clinic, correct? So, some time ago, but now I work here. How much do you know about what was really going on there? Only what I read in the papers. The director is trying to blame others. Of course, he's protecting himself. We, we, we really don't care about the clinic. I, I do care, senora. I care very deeply. I was hoping for a future as a nurse, so I was saving my money to go to school. Well, maybe that can still happen. We can help. If you know anything about our son... We'll give you as much money as you need to go to any school in the world. No questions asked. We just want to bring him home. Be careful who you offer money to, senor. These people are very poor. They'll take your money and tell you lies. Where is he? We were all victims at La Clinica. Maybe your son... You know something. Where is he? You are mistaken, senora. I don't know where he is. I only meant that the clinic created a lot of hardship and sadness for the entire region. As for the boy, I don't know where he is. Perhaps he just took off on his own. No, he didn't run away. Do you know th this man? His name is Keith Morrissey. My son was last seen with him. No. OK, that's it. You are lying, and I want the truth, damn it. Tell us, what have you done to our son? Coming up on As the World Turns. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for a lot of things. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, yeah. He looked at me funny. Funny how? Like he was coming on to me. I should go back to my room. You should stay here. Why can't I get you out of my head? Between a rebel she can't resist. Whatever the hell this is between us, I'm tired of fighting it. And the man she knows is right. I want to marry Tammy. Oh. Can I have your permission to marry your daughter? This week on Guiding Light, CBS Daytime. of the original ranch, things seem a little more like the way they're supposed to be. Hidden Valley Ranch, the way ranch is supposed to taste. Warren Sapp is a Pro Bowl defensive tackle. Warren Sapp is a hungry man.
packed with extra large portions of the food men love. Hungry Man satisfies even the biggest appetite. Hungry Man, it's good to be full. Tony, most people want to get in better shape, but they just don't have the time. Well, Stacy, what if I told you in just three 20-minute workouts, only one hour a week, you can increase your energy levels, strengthen your heart, reduce your stress, and shape all the muscles of your body, all with one quality machine. Would you be interested? Yes, I would. Well, Stacy, I have good news. Tell me more. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Yeah, baby. You can do it. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I need a cold drink. Bobby's making Ovaltine. Rich chocolate Ovaltine. Ovaltine? It has vitamins and minerals Nesquik powder doesn't have. Who wants rich chocolate Ovaltine? Me. We better make more. More Ovaltine, please. Walt Disney's greatest fairy tale, Cinderella, is now the most enchanting DVD of all time. The music. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. The characters. Yeah. Spectacularly restored. Walt Disney's Cinderella for the first time on DVD, October 4th. Big news for dry, irritated eyes. Introducing new clear eyes for dry eyes. Your dry eyes get moisture that stays in for lasting relief. Wow. New clear eyes for dry eyes. Oreo, milk's favorite cookie. Judy has a secret admirer, her daughter's boyfriend. How's it going, Mrs. Miller? Good, a little hot. Totally. A new still standing. Then, it's the talk every parent dreads. What did you tell our son, you jerk? The birds and the bees. Calm down, okay? There's no reason to be upset. Take the forks and knives off the table. A new Yes Dear after still standing, CBS Tonight. NFL and United Way need your help to tackle homelessness. Why not lend a hand? Volunteer at unitedway.org. Want to hear something really nifty? When you shop at Bay's Nifty 50 off Berkline sale, you'll get 50% off their entire inventory of top quality Berkline furniture. That's right, 50%. Told you it was nifty. Talk about a deal. Talk all you want for only $34.99 per month and keep your same number. For $34.99, you'll receive unlimited local and local toe calling. $34.99 also includes eight free features from call waiting to call forwarding and star 69. Save an additional 20% if you are on one of the federal assistance programs. Call for details. Operators standing by, call toll free now for more information. Illinois Telephone, 1-800-480-4198. Want to hear something really nifty? When you shop at Bay's Nifty 50 off Berkline sale, you'll get 50% off their entire inventory of top quality Berkline furniture. That's right, 50%. Told you it was nifty. Always buy better at Bay. rented a room with a defendant. My privacy was invaded. You were snooping around in her room. Next Judge Judy. Today at 2 and 3 on CBS 2. Hello, Chicago. Don't miss Dream Halloween, a magical party for kids benefiting the children affected by AIDS Foundation. Join the magic show Saturday, October 22nd. The survivors plunge into croc-infested waters. Catch a new survivor, CBS Thursday. Lily, let her go. She this is not something. helping, Luke. <laughs> Who sent you it here? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to her. We're uh, just desperate to find our son. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but I must ask you to leave. Of course. What are you doing? We're both, uh, we're under a lot of strain here. Holden, I understand. And I wish you luck, senor. And I'll keep your son in my prayers. Thank you. Keep an eye on those two. We can't let them get on our way. Okay, so I'll see you back at the station. Absolutely. And Katie, bye-bye. Bye, and Kim, thank you again. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, well, Mike, uh, very talented guy. 
He loves his work. Do you? You're banking on it. Well, I think it's a, it's a strong investment. How do you know? Instinct. About me? And the product. It's that smile, Katie. It, it just draws people in. I bet it always has. <laughs> people like you. They want to be around you. I, I, I bet that from the time you were in high school, going, going back to then, you, you were always the girl that every other girl wanted to be and every guy dreamt about. Oh, well, I, not exactly. <laughs> Modesty? No, reality. Uh, 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 how many prom dates did you turn down? How many did you? <laughs> I didn't go to my prom. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to gamble that our high school stories are nothing alike. Well, what are your stories? Not very interesting. I was your typical high school geek. Straight A's. Of course. Chess club. Do, do I do you see that in me? <laughs> so what was that other... Um... What's he called? Mathletes? And computer club and all that good stuff. I, I tried, you know, I tried to find my place, uh, fit in, find my crowd, and I just, we moved around too much. Oh, me too. My mom was a singer, so we went where the jobs were. Yeah, it's tough always being the new kid, huh? <sighs> See, our stories aren't that different. Yeah. Well, I, I, was, I was pretty forgettable back then. <laughs> Bet those kids wouldn't recognize you now. You know what, Katie? That may be the one thing that I know is true. Yeah. Snyder is a good cop. Oh, yeah? You know, I'm not saying he is. In fact, he may be one of your best cops, a real golden boy. But you put Snyder on a case like this when his wife is smack in the middle of it? I trust him. He doesn't bend the truth. So either have more to back up your theory or take a walk. You know what? Better yet, go see the commissioner. His I don't office is on the to fourth the floor. His secretary's name is Betty, but you better bring more than a bad attitude if you want to get anything done. Now get out of here because I got work to do. Mitchells, Stevens. Upstairs and get Connolly. I want to debrief on security measures right now in the conference room. It's your turn to make an owl's run. Here, I'll take the usual. Sorry I jumped all over you. I just I didn't expect to see you here. So, how'd you find out? Um, your dad told me. You saw my dad? Yeah, it's a long story. Um, I just wanted to drop these off for your sister, but that Why? guy... The same reason I went to her baby's funeral. Um, I just figured she, she's having a rough time. Thanks. I'll give them to her. Well, I really had no clue that you were going to be here. Your dad explained why Jennifer grabbed my baby, and I just wanted to do something. And, and I will leave you alone. Listen, uh, I don't want to fight anymore. Me neither. Seriously? Yeah. I really am sorry that Jen has to be in here. Jen's in a pretty bad place right now. I think about our babies a lot. Like, um, sometimes I can't think of one without the other, and we both kind of lost him, but for her, it's forever. And, uh, I'm sorry, Will. And, um, I just want to say that I hope that Jen feels better. Go ahead, wait. Don't, don't leave. My mom has arthritis. Taking bear keeps her music playing. My brother has a bad knee. 
Taking Bear keeps his game going. And what really amazed me was when Bear helped my father keep living. He took it during a heart attack. Bear helped save his life. Nothing else I know does so much. So when I'm in pain, what do you think I'm going to choose? Genuine Bear, like no other pain reliever in the world. Oh, I should have used Preparation H. Wherever you go, take the easy way to cleanse, cool, and soothe. Preparation H Portables. Four times bigger than tux pads. Preparation H Portable Wipes. Big relief to go. Thanks, sweetie. Delicious rice in 90 seconds. Ready rice. Bring more to the table with Uncle Ben's. biggest boot sale is now on at Payless. The latest thing. It's like it was made for me. Mind if I take a look? Whoa, this is so stretchy. Only Huggies diapers have the gig elastic waistband for unbeatable leakage protection. Go get your own. Everybody! I am so going shopping. Now back to crochet today. With your G-hook, keep those stitches loose. And soon, you'll have a nice cover for that little plastic air freshener. See? Introducing new Glade Glass Scents. The air freshener you don't have to cover up. New Glade Glass Scents natural fragrance oils give you continuous light fragrance for 30 days. And it looks so decorative, you'd never think of covering it up. Next week, the bunny cover. New Glade Glass Scents. The air freshener you don't have to cover up. S.C. Johnson, a family company. My doctor said my type 2 diabetes was out of control. That high blood sugar increased my risk of serious complications. He said a better diet, exercise, take my medicine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard it all before. Well, maybe I should have listened. Every year, up to 24,000 people lose their eyesight to diabetes. Even more are at risk for stroke, heart attack, and limb loss. If you have high blood sugar, get help. Call or visit diabetes.com. What sets off an arsonist's desire to kill? 10,000 students. And one has a serious fascination with power. These profilers are about to find out. Serial arsonists enjoy manipulating authority. I think I know who it might be. Look out! Criminal Minds, a new episode. Then, new style. New stories. New season. We need to talk. CSI New York, season premiere, CBS Tonight. Weren't you going to give those to me? Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I forgot. <clears throat> They're nice. Jen's really gonna like them. Any idea what I should say to her when I give them to her? Lately, it's like I don't know how to help my own sister. All I do is talk about weather and stupid stuff, mindless junk. It's not stupid. I, I hope just being here is what helps. That's you, Will, you know, saving the world one at a time. Go ahead, what Jen did was wrong, but um, it doesn't make her a bad person. I know. I also know that no shrink or med is going to give your sister what she needs right now. It has to, because if this place doesn't help her. Wait, wait. Were you in here? No, I was in a state hospital. It makes this place look like a country club. So, you sure you don't want to go back to pretending I was the father? It's kind of hard to give up, you know, fun. Fun and games. Don't joke. Joke or go crazy or in my family both. Well, come on. We could open up our own nut house, franchise it. Look, everybody's family is screwed up. Yeah, but we're the gold standard. Have you met my mom? Have you met mine? Look, I have no right to judge anybody, least of all you, which is why I shouldn't have said some of those things when we had that fight. Don't apologize. Look, it takes a while for my brain to catch up to my mouth, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for a lot of things. You do realize that there is absolutely no glamour involved in this internship. That's okay, I'll do anything. Well, in that case, I don't really see any reason why... Wait a minute, your last name is Coleman? Yes. And the contact number is... My brother, Henry. Henry. I didn't put those two together. 
Uh, Mrs. Hughes, I don't really know what happened with Henry, but I am really willing to work hard and I really need this job. I mean, you can't punish people because who they're related to, right? If you just knew Henry, you could... You'd quit while you're ahead. How about we just give it a test run? I'll, I'll work one week, no pay, and I could... It's not just... necessary. I'm sorry, Maddie. No, it's, it's okay. No, 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 wait a minute. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not fair to judge you without giving you a chance. Now, if my grandson says that you are up to this job, then that's good enough for me. I got it. You've got it. Oh, thank you so much, Mrs. Hughes. Oh, you will not regret this. I will work so hard for you. <laughs> when can I start? How about tomorrow? I will be here. Good. Thank you. You don't be a stranger, okay? You know, there's so many exciting things going on here at the studio. It's a good time to join the team. Bye, son. Bye, girl. I got it. Yeah, you did. So it looks like you owe me one. BJ, don't most businessmen usually rely on market research, um, proposals, competitive bids? <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm not most businessmen. No kidding. This is happening all kind of fast. It, how are you sure it's going to work? I told you, instinct. And, you know, I'd bet on instinct over numbers any day. Sorry it took so long. I wanted to tell my subs what to expect. I told them to expect impossible deadlines. Perfect. I'll tell you what, though. I got to head back to the station, get a few things done before I call it a day. But you guys, stay here, order whatever you want. I'll tell them to put on my tap. No, no, no. That's not necessary. Yes, it is. I insist. Please, get whatever you want, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Looking forward to it. All right. Katie, I feel really good about this. I think it's the beginning of a very rewarding relationship. Good night. Did you see that? What? He looked at me funny. Funny how? I, like he was coming on to me. Katie. No, I'm serious, Mike. I don't know if it was the way he smiled or just held my hand a little too long. Uh, I guess we are. Come on. Guy's a workaholic with a nasty chocolate milk habit. Hey, come on. <laughs> that guy's harmless. Besides, you're already taken. Okay, can I talk now? Did you want the whole that town to hear? That woman was lying. I know she was lying. Why did you drag me out of there? I wasn't afraid of that guy. Lily. What were we going to do? Outmuscle them? We'll, we'll hire our own guards. To do what? Fight? Yes, fight. For Luke. If you're not willing to fight for our son, then I it's fine. I am I'll do fighting. What if something happens to us? What happens to Luke's chances then? I just... I mean, we have to do something. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to find a way to get back into that place. And we're going to figure out where they're hiding him. What if it's too late? It's not too late. If he's okay, look at me. We're gonna find him. We're gonna bring him home. We're not gonna fail our son. I swear to you, we won't. For chocolate, discover the extra thin Lent Excellence. More refined, richer. Excellence, 70% and 85% pure cocoa. Lent, 100% pure passion. Are you hungry? My favorite cereal is Honey Bunches of Oats. Every spoonful is a little different. You got three kinds of flakes. The clusters are more of a crunch, you know, where the flakes are more of a crisp. It's the cereal you'd make if you made cereal. It's like a mouthful of joy. <laughs> I'm ready to fight my cancer. I'm ready to begin chemotherapy. I really am ready because I'm going to take Nolasta right from the start to help protect me from infection. Chemotherapy can reduce your white blood cell count and increase your risk of infection, which could put your treatment on hold. But Nulasta is a white blood cell booster that can help restore your white blood cell count to reduce your risk of infection. And with a sufficient white blood cell count, your doctor may have a better chance of giving you your chemo on schedule, which doctors agree is the first step to success. 
Elasta is for most cancer patients receiving strong chemotherapy. In rare cases, splenic rupture or serious allergic reactions have been reported. Report abdominal or shoulder pain or any allergic reaction to your doctor immediately. The most common side effect of this injection is mild to moderate bone pain. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready. Thanks to Nulasta. Ask your doctor about Nulasta and how you can be ready for chemotherapy. I'm not a patient man. Waiting? Not my thing. One hour photo? Too slow. Fast food? Not fast enough. Heartburn? Who has the time? I take maximum strength Zantac. It's so fast I can take it before a meal to prevent heartburn or after to quickly relieve tough heartburn. And a leading prescription, it can take a day or more to fully work. That's just crazy talk. For me, Maximum Strength Zantac. Hey, buddy, move it. I like this guy. Maximum Strength Zantac, the speed you need against heartburn. Hi, Jay Bush and our family chili expert, Cousin Drew, for Bush's Homestyle Chili. Drew slow cooks his chili with premium ground beef. He dices red ripe tomatoes, and he adds just the right seasoning. It's quality you can see and taste. So how do you like working out at your home, Drew? Oh, it's great. Are those pajama bottoms? Hey, it's casual Friday. Bush's Homestyle Chili, now in a handy family-sized jar. Looks like homemade, tastes like homemade. They were caught in the line of fire. Now they're out for revenge. This is gonna end right here and right now. Without a trace, the new season begins Thursday after CSI. Please help me. Mr. McNeil tortured his family. You better have credible victims and physical proof. I do, and I will. Oh. What's all that? Homework. You ever hear of it? You're going to watch all those tapes. I want to be prepared for my new job, okay? Relax. All you have to do is show up. I don't do things the way you do. Oh, and by the way, I don't owe you anything. Man, you really know how to hold a grudge, huh? But thank you. <sighs> Seriously, thank you for talking to your grandmother. Anything to keep you busy. So, how long before you have enough cash to move out? By the way, you're welcome. Here, make yourself useful. Are you still thinking he's got other things on his mind besides this project? No, there's just something really weird about the guy. That's the nerd factor. Uh, guy started his first computer company in college. How do you know that? Made some calls while I was gone. I thought you were talking to your crew mm. bosses. I also did a little background check on BJ Green. Get this. That guy made his first million before most guys rush a fraternity. So if he's so incredibly rich, why come to Oakdale? Why pick me, us? Well, it was like Kim said, you know. Guys like that build an empire like to start small. I mean, hey, if he's going to take us along, I say we do it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, have some fun with it, you know? Guys like BJ, they start things out, they pass the ball, you know? Chances are we won't have to deal with him for very long. Yeah? Busy day. I'll get used to it. Hey, what do you think? We issue this on DVD or start a whole new line? New DVD, all its companion products. It's going to triple our startup costs. And our profits if we do this right. Mm. Well, you know what they say. If you want it done right, do it yourself. Exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. That's why I'm going to be in on every phase of this project. Oh, Mr. Hands-On. Oh, yeah. See ya. Oh, yeah. Better believe it. Hey! Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Nothing, I swear! Bates! Bates! Where the hell have you been? Never mind. Take her down to lockup. For what? Interfering with an ongoing investigation, tampering with evidence, trespassing, resisting arrest. Take her downstairs. Oh, you know, you can't hold me. You got nothing on me. I was just waiting here, waiting to talk to Jack. Yeah, well, what? now you can wait for the night in jail. Let's just forget about the fight, okay? We, we both said things we didn't mean. Yeah, yeah. I got so used to having you on my side, I... 
Didn't know how much I was gonna miss it. I'm sorry about the baby. Him living with Carly doesn't change the truth. Gwen, uh... Look, it's okay. I'm fine. My mom's resurfaced. Uh, she says she's gonna help me out. Your mom? Is that, is that a good thing? Not sure. <clears throat> well, I really hope you get the baby back. Thanks. So, uh, what about school? Uh, it's covered. Um, I'm coming back next week. The teachers are gonna let me make up the work I missed. I'll make sure Jen gets the flowers. Great. Um, thanks. So I'll see you at school. Third period. I, I should go in and see Jen. Yeah. Um, bye, Will. Bye. Go back to my room. You should stay here. I'll be all right. Lily, I don't want you to be alone. When was the last time you slept? you for the bed. <laughs> you know what? I think that this floor is looking pretty comfortable right now. Oh, oh come on. Uh -oh. There is no reason why we can't share a bed. You sure about that? worried about you. Did you hear that? So desperate, so heartbroken. Too bad they'll never find you. <laughs> Want me to take care of him? <sighs> the boy's too valuable to waste, Rico. At least for now. The next, as the world turns. No, Maddie, please, you promised me. What did I do? This is from Henry. She knows that her baby is gone. And she knows that the baby that the Snodgers are raising is in the right place. She's accepted it. She knows something's up. She, she feels it. I got respect for that. Why? Because you're in love with her? learn more when they feel at home. Beep, beep, welcome home. <laughs> Open. <laughs> you have letters. From letters A, B, C, D. to numbers. One, two, three. 
Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Collection lets learning happen naturally through everyday play, familiar sights and sounds, and their own never ending sense of wonder. Play, laugh, grow. Campbell's Chicken Noodle Possibilities. Bad Sass Chicken Noodle Stew. Brought that savory, tried and true. Every mom is glad she could give them wholesome food that tastes so good. Possibilities. I found love at a Kmart store. Martha Stewart's got your bed to cool. I found love. Sleep tight, y'all. We're going to Las Vegas. Thanks to Polydent, I'm flying free. We're going to Florida. And thanks to Polydent, I'm flying free. It's true. Buy five boxes of Polydent and one airline ticket and get a second ticket free worth up to $500. You can fly to over 100 places on most airlines. We're going to New York. Yeah, New York. For details, see specially marked boxes or visit Polydent.com. Polydent. Buy five, fly a friend free. Dell has great deals on PCs waiting for you now. Get this Dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor for the amazing price of $4.99. And enhance your PC with the McAfee Security Center for just $79. With the power of an Intel processor and the security of McAfee, it's all you need to keep your PC running smoothly. Notebooks start as low as $5.49. Get more out of now. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. Smells so good. Introducing Tide with Febreze Freshness, a fresh approach to laundry. At Briars, we're churning out an amazing new ice cream with double the goodness, double the thrill, double the smiles. Introducing new double churn from Briars with all the rich, creamy taste of regular ice cream, but with half the fat. Amazing. New Double Churned, only from Briars. The new taste of ice cream. Friday, a mental hospital breakout. He had delusions that there were aliens among us. Is this man insane? Find him. Or does he know about an extraterrestrial takeover? You have no idea what you're dealing with. It's one of the best mysteries of the TV season. Now we have something they want. A new threshold, CBS Friday. Are we over-medicating our kids? Next, Dr. Phil. What are you looking at? Call 877-4-BLINDS today.